You might join in playing this. Yeah, it's it's good relaxing. It's a nice start to the day. I was going to do Cozy Grove, but I think I'm Cozy Groved out. I'm very curious to see where Cozy Grove goes, but... Yeah, I think I hit my limit on it right now. So, I'm not focusing on anything in particular. I'm just sort of like wandering around. I don't want to focus on having to... I feel like the game is really loud. There probably isn't. I have a seed in my mouth. I made smoothies for us this morning. We need to go to the grocery store. Okay, so I have 20... Out of 21 villagers. What? You? Isaac's having allergy issues. So all yesterday when Isaac wasn't feeling good was allergies. Okay. I saw this back in the day. When I first played this and they never fixed it. It's so ridiculous. They need... It's, oh. just, it's just this one patch of grass, but they never found it. It's really hard to show it. Anyways. Um, how do I run? Left trigger. Okay. I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was gonna go gather some stuff. Why is the dwarf trapped in here? The dwarf's trapped in here because I left him in here. Can he come get out this way? No. Can he get out anyway, or is the dwarf just stuck? Oh no, the dwarf is stuck. He's been just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Dueros. It's been two uh, minutes that we encountered a wild flying bush. Oh. Um, no, I changed it already, Wolver. It's... It, uh, I started the stream early and everything said Stream Raiders and it wasn't supposed to be. Alright, so... What I remember of this... I think we're actually looking for... We're looking for resources, one. Two... You know what we sh what I should do? I think I need to get more resources and just build more right now. Only reason because... I think the more people we have, the more money we make with taxes. And we are making an okay amount, but it'd be nicer if that chunk would go up. And honestly, it's wood we need, because that's the biggest resource. His axe is wearing down. It's a, it doesn't break, it's just I had sharpened it last time I was playing this and I completely forgot I sharpened it. <sighs> it's a bunny. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a bunny we already have. But, uh, yeah. I'm very tired to think why. I do not feel like I should be this tired. I kept getting up all night long. I kept getting out of bed to have to use the bathroom to get some water or that kind of thing. But I kept waking up and like felt the need that I had to get up. No. Oh. I, I'm pressing L to L, B, and R, B to change, like, the items, and it's not, that's not what it is. Um, we will have another Stream Raiders Day this week, along with Final Fantasy XIV. I'm not sure what day that will be. I might actually make it tomorrow, just because I, like, I might make it tomorrow. Um, because I know tomorrow's the last day of E3, and I know from the look of it, it seems like most of the stuff people would want to see is going to be tomorrow, and allows it to be a more chill stream they can have on the side if they want to take time to look at that. I'm just going to spend, like, I'm just going to wait until later in the day to watch it on my own, probably with Izzik or something. 
if he's interested at that point. Um... Hmm. I could just make this a small row of houses down here. Do I have enough for this? I do. Um... Where's my roads? Here it is. Not enough resources. Need more gold. We are out of gold. We also need to recruit more. We have nine more slots now. Woo! Laptops being a bench, swapping devices. Mm. I went through all the iced coffee we have. I think there's a little bit left in the fridge. Hi, honey. Um, from the weekend. But I was having a... I know Isaac did a coffee and banana smoothie thing. Coffee, banana. Coffee, banana, and peanut butter. Probably not. He said it was really, really good, and he said he would have expected it to be, like, from Starbucks or something. I think he found the recipe online. He was gonna, like, wing it or something. I told him not to. He winged it. Ew. I mean, it's not flavors I'd want. But I don't like banana. No, come back here, bunny! I need to just do these, because I need to get the bunnies to love me. Love me, bunny! Love me. Love me. The more interest it has, the more likely it is it'll stick around. Love me. Love me. The poor bunnies, no. We just need to get, bu we just need to befriend them just until we get our level up so we can get better animals. Cause right now we're just training level one. Oh my god, bunny rabbit, really? And then it's like, gets startled and it's just done with life. It like hears a rustling in the bushes, it's like, oh my god! <laughs> hey, bloody circuits. Bunny was startled by something. Da, 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 da. I didn't do my hair today, so it's gonna get like slightly fluffed. Um, mostly because I'm too tired and I don't care. That'll do a lot of trust. Hug the bunny, squeeze it to death in your burly dwarvish arms. There we go. A new friend. Did that give me enough experience? Yes. Thank God. Ah. <sighs> This will be... I don't know if we could do this. Circuits. Damn it. Blood circuit. There you go. It's close enough. You're a bunny rabbit. Congratulations. Oh my god. Was there another bunny there? Crap. I don't think it's gonna give me enough wood, but whatever. You know what I should do? Demolish. This one tent. This thing is absolutely ugly and worthless. There's another bunny right there. Level four. I don't know if we're likely to get him or not. He might be too high. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no. You have to keep on training, like, the level ones for a bit until you're able to get, like, the higher ones, and then you just need to trade them out. It's great. <laughs> mm, uh, eventually I'll wake up. 
I do have a. I need to get my phone out of my pocket. I have a hard limit on how long I'm gonna play this today. Because I very much got myself lost in this last time I played, and I played it way too long. Um, my limit is going to be about another hour and 20 with it. I like it, but it's very easy for this game to like swallow up all my time. I'm going to try and get whatever that is. I think it's a just really low-level bunny right there. Yep. You just have to keep doing this over and over. There you go. Scratch behind his ears. It's making it easier for us to get them, though. <laughs> oh yeah, this is already a lot easier. There we go. A new friend. <laughs> Kit Kat. <laughs> so bunny rabbits following any particular character makes that character move faster. We have a pet thing in the town that allows us to hold pets, but we can only have so many of them. So as we get more pets, we're going to have to release other pets. So some of you are going to go away at some point. <laughs> it's just the nature of having... Oh, hey. Four of you guys, huh? Hey, want to come to Dilzikia? We'd love to join Dilzikia Village. Pack our things and leave immediately. Yes. Pay our taxes. <laughs> so the houses we're building can hold four villagers apiece, I believe. Uh, which is why we have 28 slots now. I do not need much more wood. I need trees, and I see wood over there. I mean, I don't need much more stone. I don't know what I'm saying. Yes! More. What I really need to be doing is working on getting the spirits. Because I think those expand our village. Oh, there's a treasure over here. Jesus, a heck of a ways away. There we go. How much space do I have, though? Because it's usually... Eh, we have an okay amount. Uh, yeah. Endurance potion. Fully restores stuff. Yay. Stamina. All right. Building more of this road. Over here. Um, we desperately need more bathrooms, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Like, people were all like, um, there's too many of us and not enough bathrooms. And I was like, shut your mouths. They're all like, but, but. <laughs> Here, have a bathroom. We need more here. I really wish I could just rotate the world. Don't have enough resources. All right. We can have 32 people. Let's see. What are they all saying? Um, 
I don't go in, mind enjoy going to work, but once I'm there, I don't mind it. When I live in the forest, I didn't need restrooms. What? Time to sit back and have a nice... Okay, so yeah, they're talking about restrooms. They're all pretty good off. They need to shut their mouths. Wait, what is she doing? Environment? She's not happy with her environment. Oh my god. So, in our, okay, so our next goal on what we're supposed to be doing is we're supposed to be getting, I think, ourselves to tier two. So we actually need to up our culture. Um, and I think the only thing that gives us culture... It's honestly... How many more of these do I need to build until I can design? One more time. All right. It says there's one this way, but that's over the wall. I can't get through there. What do I need to get through there, sir? I swear, because the gate was always open before. Sometimes these old gates have a switch that triggers under rumble somewhere, and they're stuck with a closed gate. It's a real pity the path is closed now, but I guess if you're able to find the switch, you could open the gate again. It's probably under some rubble somewhere. Like, over here? Where is he? They show up as a dot on their map. He's right there. It's really fucking far. 52 crowns this period collected. Yes! Any more people at this campsite? One person. Go live in Dilzekia now. <laughs> Go live in our population. Give us your money. <laughs> oh my god, he's so far. I need gold. We're really low on gold. Wait, is this more people? <gasps> more people. Yes, you. Go live in Dilzikia. We'd love to live there. Yes. More people. <laughs> just, just grabbing them up as we see them. It's like, what are you doing living here in the woods when you have a nice population with very few restrooms? Come and live in our beautiful village. We'd love to join Dilzik. Yeah, I could take three more people. Two more people. Yes. <laughs> no, Bunny Rabbit, come back. I must train you. There. Oh, it's a sparrow. And it's level two. Be interested in me. I'm going to tussle the sparrow's head because that's how you train sparrows. Oh my god. Come here, Sparrow. Don't lose interest in me. Yes, come on. Come on. Ear scratch a Sparrow. What? <laughs> Let's ear scratch the bird again. The bird's all like, what are you doing? Sparrow is curious about clocks, the dwarf. I stole Izik's, like, dwarf name for this character. Clocks. Yeah. <laughs> we have a bird! I have no idea what the bird does. Manage pets. Alright. By Wolver. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not Wolver the Sparrow. <laughs> what does the Sparrow do? Hold on. <laughs> we gotta see what the Sparrow does. Hold on. I don't remember what the Sparrow does, but I remember it being good in some ways, but I think I might give the... It's because I got rid of the tent. <laughs> because I got rid of the tent, the trees grew back. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Pet supplies can feed hungry bellies. Oh, so you can feed them. Uh, oh, here's how you check on them. Um, Sparrow. A clean environment is a happy environment. Plus six per second to the townsfolk's environment. Oh. Give that to you. We're gonna give Blood Circuit to the dwarf. Oh, no, we want this one. Look, this bunny's better. Blood circuit, you're a sucky bunny rabbit. <laughs> you give 23 to stamina, but you only give plus one to run faster. <laughs> Ooh, more wood. Thanks. Um, we need to do something about this roadblock. <laughs> This absolutely stupid, asinine roadblock. I know what to do. We just need to build a, uh... I just need to build one restroom right there and it will get rid of it. But I need more wood for that. Oh, gold. Let's do that. Gold's good. Wait, isn't this basically where... Yeah, there's he is. Because the switch might be under this rubble. One of these rubbles. I need more wood. I have a feeling the switch is back here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Alright. First things first, uh, let's get him over here because I want to pick up all that stone once I use it. But I need to get more wood. Da, 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 da. Bye, bunny rabbit. There's four of you. I cannot pick up that many. <clears throat> the trees grow back, thankfully. If any of you are wondering about how that works. <clears throat> they do grow back and they do grow s at a uh, slowish type pace. Like, you actually see them grow back. They're, they're small and then they get bigger. I think if you wait for them to grow more, you get more wood out of them. But sometimes I just don't have the patience to wait for them. I don't know if I can ever chop down the brown trees. I think you can only get the white trees. I'm not certain. I know you can permanently upgrade the axe. And I know you can permanently upgrade the pickaxe, but it costs 500 coins, which is in the top right. Those coins you only get through the taxes from your villagers. This is also a game I need to get for Isaac at some point. Because I know he wants to play this. This is very much an Isaac game. These people going, um, where are you going? I'm all like, we're leaving this here so you know that the bathrooms are here, you dumbasses. Because <laughs> like, all they do is complain about bathrooms. They're like, um, where are the bathrooms? I want better bathrooms. I really want better bathrooms. Oh, 
Oh, it's a four. Oh, you know what? Hey. 382 wood and 382 gold. We're going to save that for another puppet thing. I know they need more bathrooms and everything, but the puppets, that ups our culture and we need to up our culture. I have no idea what I want to do when I expand the town. I know you can expand the town because I've seen that you can do it. I've never actually done it when I've ever played this. More gold needed. There's gold. I see some more right over there. Oh, and behind me. And it's so expensive to build one tiny little puppet thing. I've already done that puzzle above my head, so I'm not doing it again. Yeah, I see the treasure chest is done. We're gonna go to that gold. That might be all we need. I see a race thing over there. There's two things of gold here. Ooh. I see another one over there too, and another one over there. Yeah, I like this. I like the fact that this game is not stressful. It's very relaxing. All right, we have enough. This will be nice. Culture five, economy five, quality of life zero. No one gets quality of life with the circus system down. Here you go. What did that do for us? We're a two-tier town. Wait, what does she want us to be? A three-tier? Is that Bodhi that's just me on? Honey? Bodhi! Bodhi's meowing in the hallway. Look at how sad these people look. They're all like, you're tearing our forest down. Hi, Woodsy. Keep up the good work. Let's turn Tilziki into a five-star town. <clears throat> we don't need five stars right now. Ow, why did I get stuck? All right. Um. Honestly, I do need more gold. Go to that. Ooh, a spirit. A sprite, or whatever the hell they're called. I need you. There's this whole puzzle here, too, that I need to do. Like, all these lights. I've done it before in the early access version of the game. Come here. Thank you. Nine. Ten. I don't remember how many we need. He would tell us. This is the tents out in front of him. I see a bunny rabbit. Come here. You're worth experience. Oh, you're Kit Kat. Never mind. Goodbye. <laughs> like, I keep seeing my own rabbit. I see you have 10 sprites. If you return to me with 20, I will most certainly renegotiate our treaty and officially sanction the expansion of Dilzikia. That was the thing that I never did. You need... Once you get 20 of them, then you get much bigger town. I'm not taking one of you. I'll take one. Do you like to live in Dilzik? Yeah, of course you do. Da -da 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 -da. Here's more gold. I want the gold because of... Well, I want the gold because it's gold. And uh, allows me to build the, town the roads better. The roads that I've been building on the one side of town are more expensive, but they, they the people move faster with them. I also need more trees and wood, and there's a ton right there. At some point, it's, it is going to get to the point where I'm not going to be able to do much until I expand the town. Though, I have to say, I've never actually gotten to the point where I ran out of space. I usually was always, like, needing more materials more than anything. Buddy! He's in the hallway just meowing. 
<laughs> He's a very adorable meow. No, he does not. He has a where are you guys meow. Even though he knows where we are. Where are you? I'm lost. Well, I think half the time he's trying to get our attention to come to him or he's trying to get Tiger's attention. I don't think he's actually lost or desperately looking for us. He knows where we are, usually. And he just sits there and meows so that we'll come to him. He was not his usual um, awake greeting self this morning. He uh, he actually got up after we did. He was still like dead asleep in his little kitty bed. That's where he's been sleeping lately. He's not sleeping at the foot of the bed. He's not sleeping in the laundry basket like he usually does or on top of the little chest at the end of the bed, um, which he does. He hit one of the three, three, mark them three. We actually have four kitty beds. And they've all somehow slowly ended up in the bedroom. <laughs> Originally, two of them used to be here in the office with us. Um, we took them out for a reason. I think we had to, like, do something. We ended up taking them out and moving them into the bedroom, and we never moved them back. But um, the boys move between the four beds. It's really weird. Cannot build another farm. What are we low on? Quality of life is okay. Culture is low, economy is low. Need to build it three more times. Um, let's do... This. Just because having more of these is supposed to really help. Alright, because now I can attempt to design it. Look at that, a workshop. Uh, it needs more wood than we're able to carry, more stone than we're able to carry, and more gold than we're able to carry. How am I doing on everything? Okay. Can I build another one of these? Yes, I can build another market. Alright. Market. Where can I put this? Over here, technically. I want to build a market here. This is the most I've ever done with this town, I think. Okay. How are we as far as... Okay. So economy is 71 more to the next level, 90 culture to the next level. Uh, I've built two more markets. Can I design it yet? I need to build it one more time. Now we get that. Let's go through the gate. See, the gold already came back that we had mined. You're never, like, super short on resources in this, and I do like that. <clears throat> like, the game is definitely meant for enjoying and relaxing. Um, yeah, sometimes I want more of a challenge of finding some things, but I'm totally fine with the way how relaxing this game can feel. Hi, Griffalo. Alright, what's with you? Whoa, hey, Wicked, you look like you gotta get around a lot. I collect spices. Maybe you found some in your travels? If you could bring me 15 bags of spice, I'll tell you the secret to making them. Oh, Groovy, you've brought some. What? Can I have those? I still need 15 more bags. Yeah, sure. Really? Thank you. I still need 7 more bags of spice. Where was I finding spice bags? I must have been finding them in treasure chests.
One citizens have left Ilzuki because of unfavorable conditions. What? They can leave? Uh, washrooms and restrooms. Um... Shit. I wonder if there's a whole thing about... Outhouse. Comfort to visitors. Environment to visitors. Plot? Oh, the, the the farms. Wait, how are we doing as far as farms? As far as food? Consumption, 6.25. Production, 6.77. So we're slowly regaining food. Uh... We need a washrooms. Education community. I need more gold for it. Here we go. Ha! I only have two washrooms, so... Couldn't hurt to put another one. Uh, what was it under? Community? Boom. Stupid little bitches. People whine too much. There. Washroom. Did that do anything for us? No. All right, let's go look around. <laughs> We're like low on resources, it's fine. <gasps> Bears! Whoa! This is a brown squirrel, level four. The brown squirrel ran away before we even had a chance. The bear's level six. I'm not even gonna like try. <laughs> what? Bears, wow. I mean, I would love- no, I don't want the bear cub. I want this pile of wood. Stop it. I would love to get the squirrel, but the squirrel's too high. <laughs> like, the squirrel's way too high level. Oh wait, there was a treasure over here, wasn't there? Oh, there's also this. Here. Transporting the companions here. I'm gonna need them. What the frick? Here, go hit that. I mean, I could use her because she has her repair hammer to hit these. There's more dungeons around, I know that, and I haven't really found one before. So if you missed it when I streamed it last week, um, the dungeons are basically all puzzle-based and they're they're enjoyable. Um, the boss fights are all just one giant puzzle. Um. Oh no. Okay. So I know we need to set fire to that thing. I have no idea how. We don't necessarily have an easy way of getting fire to things. Wood. Um, I see another spirit over there. What are you gonna say? Hey there, snail. Looks like you're in the blue sparks. Only cool people get to try these races and win prizes. Cool people join the blue sparks. If you want to race, you gotta join up. What's the blue sparks? Blue sparks is the only coolest thing there is. Well, after racing itself, and of course winning a race. Actually getting prizes after winning a race might be the best thing. 
Anyway, we've got all these courses set up and we give out prizes to people who can compete complete them without running out of time. If you want to try our races and win our prizes, you got to join the club. Talk to Champ back in T-River camp. He'll hook you up. He's a hip and happening cool cat. As a cool teenager, I'm up to date on all the latest lingo. See a snail. What? <laughs> I'm so cool and hip and happening. What? Um... People are having a hard time finding restrooms in town. They'd be grateful if we built more of them. For fuck's sakes. They could just cool their jets and shut the fuck up. <laughs> like... I don't know where... There's a chest over here. There we go. Yay. Nope. No, I don't want to leave. Actually, I want this bunny. Because it's just super easy to get. Perfect. Ear scratches. Let's go. It'll be easy to level up this way. Just bunny was distracted. Stop being distracted. Good bunny. It's a very, very simple little, like, mini-game. It's super simple. Like, why haven't you figured out how to do this on your own? Look, it's another bunny rabbit. Wait, does he give 37 stamina? Is that what that is? Manage pets. Let me see. He does. Holy crap, he's an upgrade. Wait, no. Pesto Gobbly does. Gives 31 stamina and 2. He gives 37 stamina and 1. Oh my god. Blood circuits, you're getting gotten rid of. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Blood circuits was a bunny rabbit for 5 seconds. Now it's Griffola. <laughs> <laughs> Griffalo the bunny. Give me my treasure chest. <laughs> we upgraded. I didn't notice the stats beforehand on the on the the pets. I don't know how I missed them honestly. The only, the only tedious thing about this game that I've seen so far is um, leveling up your training. Would you two like to live in Dilzikia? Okay, goodbye. More wood. I'm just scaring the bunny rabbits like crazy. Oh, God. This was a very small area to open up just to find, like, this gate. What do I need to open this? Can't let you pass this gate unless you pay the toll. 50 crowns. Oh, okay. Everything seems to be order in order. I'll take 50 crowns. You now have passage to this road. Sure. Founders Road. Um, We might as well take him because there's a lot of gold here. I'm wondering if that stone wall is just there or if that opens that looks like it opens that does <gasps> how do you get that open that's a doorway is that another dungeon old quartz road it won't let, it won't tell me maybe you're supposed to find a switch under something I mean, no one's there to tell you anything, so maybe you're just supposed to figure it out. I see another spirit over there I somehow missed.
I really should be sending the elf back to the town. That's not our entrance, is it? No. That's a different opening. And there's two uh, sprites over here. Give me money. Give me lots of money. So my biggest worry is that... Oh. Old Quartz Road. My biggest worry is I'm fucking up the town and not building it properly, but I have no idea if there's a special way to be building the restrooms. Alright, we need to send her back. No, just transport her. How many? I have four more scrolls to do that with. I need to collect more of those. Those scrolls are really worthwhile. Just find wood in town. Great. Okay. Uh, more bathrooms. That's not what I need. <laughs> I think it's just down here. Miscellaneous. There we go. Um... So I kind of feel like if I had done the bathrooms correctly, I could have put three next to each house, almost. Like here? Hold on. Like I can do it here, and I could do... Here. If I do it like this... Then... There. Because I have a wasted spot right here which bugs me. But there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Okay, quality of life is at three star. Economy needs to go up. Honestly, the only way we're going to pull up the economy is by... Getting more market stalls. I can't build a better market. I've tried... Like, it requires too much wood, more than I can carry. I don't know if we get upgrades for that, or if the town level has to go up for us to get better upgrades to carry more. Hi, Luna. Ooh, more Dwaros, yeah. I need to actually get another cup of coffee. And I'm also trying to pay attention to time, because I'm keeping a hard limit on how long I'm playing Dwaros before I switch. So today's plan is Dwaros mixed with, um, followed by, not mixed with, it's Dwaros followed by Zelda, um, and we are going to be starting Twilight Princess today, um, because we finished Majora's Mask 3D, um, and then we're going to be playing more Soma, and I want to devote an, an okay amount of time to Soma because its average playtime is said to be nine hours. Um, and I want to finish it within a decent amount of time, and technically, if that's the average playtime, I have no idea how much progress I'm getting through it. I felt like it's been pretty good, but if it's only supposed to be about nine hours, it means I only have about one or two more streams of it. Who in this older you're actually interested in? I mean, no one had any real preferences on whether I play Wind Waker or... This one's int This is weird. On if I played Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, but I think you're the one that mentioned you had an interest, Brad. And that's kind of what was the deciding factor. It was the fact that someone actually said they had an interest in which one they'd want to see over the other. 
Okay, so we have a teleport. Not bad. Are we actually on the edge of the map? I don't think I've ever seen this. Yeah, this is an invisible wall. Let me see. Where I want to see an actual map map of this. How do I do map? Oh, it's up up up. Where's the dwarf? Oh, all the way down. Oh, yeah, he's at the very, very edge. Look at that. There's, like, nothing here. <gasps> Kitty cats or wolves? Oh, hello. What? <laughs> Ahoy hoy. Land swimmer thing. You. This is great. This is so great. I'm so glad a land swimmer is here. Do you have a minute? Great, my name is Clyde. I have a favor to ask of you. There used to be a merchant that would come by here and sell me these exotic plant foods. They were little round balls and they were sour. Oh yes, they were good. I think he called them cran apples? Crab... crabble pulls? Oh, crabbles. Hmm, well no, that's not right. Well anyway, the merchant hasn't been by in a few days and I already ate my entire supply. I don't know where they come from, but if you find them in the... But you can't find them in the water and... Oh... Crab apples. That's what they're called. It's crab apples. Anyway, if you bring me some crab apples, I'll trade you some treasure from the bottom of the lake. Like I do with a land swimmer merchant. I think you'll be quite impressed. I can always find exactly what a person needs. I'm serious. I am a finder fish. It's what we do. It's not a magic or trick. It's instinct. I think I already know where to find what you're looking for. It sunk really low, though, and it's very heavy, so you'll need to bring me a whole barrel of crab apples. I won't hold you up anymore. Please bring me a barrel of 20 crab apples, and I promise I will swim to the bottom of the lake and bring you what you need. Keep? I don't... Hmm. What are you? Come here. A husky puppy! Take it from its mother. Take it from its mother. She's right there. Yes. <laughs> it's mother's just looking in the opposite direction and we just swipe it. Okay, what does it do? A new friend? Aw. Manage pets. What do you okay, so what do you do? We're actually gonna get rid of one of the bunnies. Griffalo, you've been with us for a very short period of time, but get the hell out of here. Only because you're the you're you, that bunny is not as good as this. All right, so <laughs> one twenty Brad. Brad's a husky puppy. Okay, let's see what the hu puppies do. The huskies do. Where are you? There you are. Badges. Twelve percent to starting trust when taming animals. Six percent to starting trust when taming animals. They're just animal taming. Level husky. Level three. Hi, I have a pu your puppy. Love me more. It might work. It might be easier just to train with a puppy. Oh my god, it is. A new friend. You're a poopy. Manage pets. I have no idea what you do. Kit Kat's gonna go away just because we need to figure out what this puppy, this dog does. So this is just a husky. This is the husky Luna Arcana. Gotta give a cap now. All right. So what does Luna do? Uh, badges. So the trustworthy five percent to starting trust increases the maximum amount of equipable pets. So the husky allows you to have more than one pet? Holy crap, now we have two pot dogs following the dwarf. The dwarf is like super tamer now. <laughs> like, I mean, okay. In all honesty, if that's the way it works, hold on. Shoot.
I'd rather get rid of Brad from the puppy and get something else, but I don't know of anything else that's really good. I don't know how good the squirrel is because I have yet to capture one. Oh. Really? You just get a lot of huskies, technically, but we're still limited by how many uh, pets we can have at the pet place right now. I have a feeling you can actually upgrade that pet shop or the pet thing, but how you do it, I'm not certain. Unless you just have to build it more often and then you can, like, design it. I don't know if you can actually design that building. I didn't pay attention to that. Um, this... Betting anything, this. Tax time, 76 taxes collected. This one moves too fast. Oh, it's another portal scroll. Uh, another soul quartz. We used to restore ancient artifacts with their spiritual echoes. Alright. We need more... Honestly, we need more merchant souls. Design this yet? Small store. Needs too much wood. Alright, 69 to the next level for economy. Ugh. What are people whining about? Oh, you know what? The spices I used one once. We build workshops that lowers all costs by 2% per... Yeah, I know that, but I don't want nothing but workshops. That's the problem. I'm worried that that's not something I can do. It's not. It's across the river. Wait, no, it's not across the river, because that's across the river. Oh, it's outside on the other side of the mountain. Weird. Okay. I still haven't found a whole lot of the treasures. Like, I was finding a few of them, and then out of nowhere it just stopped. Um, I don't want to use my teleportations willy-nilly because I've been using those as a quick way to get back to the town. So I'm starting to think I don't necessarily need to do that as much. It's a waterfall over there. Uh, oh. 
okay. Probably a reason for that. Yeah, there's another floor up there. How do you get up to that, though? Broken wall. I don't know if I can easily get through that. Um... Almost. There we go. Citizens are having a hard time finding restrooms in town. They'd be grateful if we built more of them. God damn it. Um. They're all like, we need more restrooms, please. We need to use bathrooms. Thanks. Don't, don't die. Don't go in the street. Isaac just said, go in the street. <laughs> Fucking bastards. Y'all demand too much shit. Need 228 wood. Come on, poppers. <laughs> How am I gonna get the dwarf out of here? Oh, like that. How are the dogs gonna get out of here? Goodbye, puppers. <laughs> Just find stone and gold inside vases. Prepping for Zelda times. Breaking crap. Uh, can you design a better workshop for better discounts, though? Yes. I already have one designed. I need to be able to carry more wood, stone, and gold. I'm almost thinking that in order to do that, maybe you need to expand with the sprites. I'm not certain, but I know that you can. So I have, here, I'll show you. Uh, there's a better workshop right here. This is an actual workshop. Gold costs, it's instead of 2%, it's at 4%. But you need 567 wood, 567 stone, and then 400... Oh, wait. No, I can't. You need more wood and stone than you can actually ca have right now. That's my problem with it. Um, so until I can upgrade that, there's nothing I can do. Now, in all honesty, it might be possible to find treasures and stuff doing this kind of thing. Um. Hello. Mysterious bunny. Nothing like some carrots. A good book and a great view. Hmm? Oh, you found me. Well, since you're here, I'll give you a hint. Sometimes puzzles can't be solved without special equipment. Why is there a bunny rabbit wearing a hat in a little chair with a book and carrots? I said the... I love that rabbit. It's just so fucking random. <laughs> it is a fancy bunny. Hey, it's a town. Is that a town? That looks like a town. I wonder if that's that one town that I was told I had to join the one, the people for the races. Here, a teleporter. This will make T River stones. Yay! <laughs> It'll be easy to get back here now. T River camp. Just walked inside. I just jump over there. You guys, your guys' uh, defenses are really shit. If you could just jump over them. Have you ever played Towers and Turnips? It's this really rad role-playing game. You play it with friends and your imagination. There's a group in the village that does it off, and they always sit around a campfire. You should check it out. They're always looking for new players. So excited about all these wood elves coming to Duskin. I grew up just north of here in a boring town. Always wanted to travel and meet new people. My mother needs a lot of help back home, so I have to go back often. Now that I'm getting to meet all of these wood elves from all over the place, so many new people and stories. It almost feels like I get to travel and see the world. 
Even if it is just through stories. I'm not talking to you. Um... Do you like plants? Because I do. I'm not good at making conversation or friends. <laughs> what are you? It's a shepherd puppy! Oh, we're at level three now. It's a shepherd puppy! Look at that, 16 and seven. We made a new friend. Manage the pets. Get rid of the puppy, the, the, get rid of Brad. <laughs> oh my God. This is now Zethia. <laughs> Zethia the, the, the shepherd puppy. Don't become too attached to yourself as a, as a as a pet, so a lot of you have been just being let go <laughs> after breath. <up. clears throat> Hi there, I'm Tyam. I'm a huge towers and turnips nerd. It's this great game my grandfather brought from, bought from a gnome. I've added a few little touches of my own to it. It's such a fun game. I'm always looking for new people to play with. I like to give out prizes to people who can beat the campaigns. Want to play? How do you play? To start, there's no game board or pieces. The whole thing is played in our imaginations. I'll be the TM or Tower Master. I'll describe the world and the situation to you, and then you choose what you want to do, and then I'll tell you what happens next and so forth. If you can get to the end of the campaign, I'll give you a prize. Want to play? Sure. Great. I call this campaign the Terrible Tower. Looks like you don't have any active campaign, so we'll start a new one. Okay, we're all set to start a new adventure. You find yourself standing in the town square of the gloomiest of towns. It's Gloomston. Look around. You're standing in a town square, a very gloomy town square. It's late at night and a bit rainy. A fog is rolling in, making things have an eerie appearance. Eerier, is that a word? Eerier than they already were, because their town is a very gloomy. The first thing that catches your notice is an inn. The warm light pouring out through the windows is inviting against the cold night. Inside, you can hear some musicians playing a mournful tune. Across from the inn, you notice a light in one of the windows of a confectionery shop. Odd for them to be open at this time of night. You notice a foreboding alley shrouded in darkness. You feel a sense of unease as if there's something there watching you. You find yourself standing in the town square of the gloomiest of towns. It's Gloomston. Check out the confectionery shop. It's odd for a store selling cakes and candies to be open so late, but a light can clearly be seen through the windows and the door isn't locked. A little bell in the door frame rings as you enter. A voice from another room calls out, I'll be right with you. Around you are shelves showcasing all manner of cakes, candies, and pastries. They all look quite scrumptious. A chubby woman wearing the uniform of pastry chef steps out from the kitchen. Her apron is clean, uh, is clean, but the sleeves of her jacket are covered in fresh stains from various batters and sauces. Oh wow, I didn't realize it was so late. I've been back in the kitchen all day trying to come up with a new recipe. Well, if you need anything, I'm here. Feel free to try a, a free sample from the tray there if you'd like. You're standing in the confectionery shop. Try a free sample. You take one of the offered free samples. The fudge brownie is rich and delicious. I'm glad you enjoyed it, the woman says. There's still so many others to try. Try another. Take a coconut macaroon. It's so good. Oh, yes, those are good, too, the chef says. That's enough. You put the tray down. You are standing in the confectionery shop. Ask her about the new recipe. Oh, she says. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe for an eclair. Something bold that isn't already available in every other sweet shop. I've got the crust down, but I just need some special ingredient for the filling. What do you suggest? Suggest pizza. Suggest lemon raspberry. She shrugs. The bakery down the street already does something like that. I need to be really different. What do you suggest? Suggest pizza. She blinks. I think that's just a panzerotti. What do you suggest? Chocolate. She shakes her head. Well, that's a pretty standard eclair. I need something really different. I think I need to find something from someone else. Okay, let's save and quit. It's a little bit much. It's cute. It's a cute little idea that it's in here. Like, I'm not opposed to it. But I, th I, th I think it's neat that it's there. 
What is this? Entrance of Heroes. Enter the Hall of Heroes with your companions, yes. <gasps> Do we have enough time for this? Our finest heroes. Oh, this is the Kickstarter. The game just crashed. Where did the game leave us? What? It's not Stream Raiders Day reasoning. What the hell? Oh, that was cute. That's what the barn looks like when you build it? That's really neat. Um, uh, oh. Freaky ghosty ghoulies. Okay, it, it auto saves, so I'm glad, I'm fine with that. Is this going to crash on us every time we open it? The book crashes whenever you try to get out of it. Oh. Oh no. Also, when I started the game, it registered my characters when they spawned in as falling 40 meters and not taking any damage, and I unlocked an achievement of falling 40 meters without taking damage. <laughs> I didn't even see that. As, uh, like, I saw the achievement pop up, and I was like, what the hell is that? That's what that sound was. The game spawning them in just spawned them in. Probably at the ceiling and drop them in. Okay, we're not opening up that book at all. Oh, hello. I've been looking through my optical crystals to view the outside world. It would appear an old friend Promet is still around, which fills me with such joy. He looks very sad, though. I want to go to him to help him out, but I'm no longer able to visit him. I beg of you to go to him. He's an old soul, but very innocent and kind. Please go to Promet and see if you can help him. If you could, make no mention of me. I am embarrassed. I was not able to protect my people, and I don't even remember what happened. I'm too ashamed for Promet to know that I am alive. An old friend of Watts is in distress. Find this friend in the northwest portion of the Duskin Woodlands in Stonemason Falls. I do like the fact that the Kickstarters have their own little hall. I mean... Yeah, it's done a lot of times in um, other games, but it is, it's a nice, it, it's always a nice little touch when they do things like this. I think it's cute. I think I myself personally would be more willing to back games on Kickstarter that I was interested in if there weren't so many video games that get backed that end up never seeing the light of day. Like, the ratio of games actually making it out of Kickstarter versus um, the ones that fail is just, it's ridiculous. But um, some of my favorite games have been Kickstarters. Pillars of Eternity was a Kickstarter. Um, Pathfinder, uh, the Pathfinder game, Kingmaker was a Kickstarter. Um, yeah. What are you? Oh, you're more German puppies. I... Don't know if I need her here with them or not. I kind of wish I hadn't teleported everyone, but at the same time, at least there's an easy way to get them out of here. Um... So, my... Oh, you know what? Transport companions here. That's the easier way. I don't know why I was doing it the hard way. Select a location. Send her back over here. Alright. Now, him... Select a location to transport. I 
think here, the surveyor's hut. So with the surveyor, there is a sprite there, which I know for a fact because I've done it that you can get out. Wait, you have a puppy that's following you. Hold on. I do not need a puppy on this character. Manage you. Go there. I need the rabbit because it makes him move faster. We need to actually do this puzzle. This is the one that needs to be done. And I actually enjoyed this puzzle quite a bit the first time I did it. It's a very simple, simple puzzle of just connect one to the other, but you need to find the starting point, and it's somewhere way back here. Add a potion. I, I'm, I'm holding on to, like, 15 of these potions. Like, I need to just use them. And I'm not using them regularly. There, there, there. Oh, there's a spirit right there. Sprite. I need one. How many sprites do I even have? Can I tell? Oh, there it is. I have 14. Yo, come here. Can I jump on top of this? Yes. There we go. Um, I could probably hit... Oh. What? Um... I'll get the treasure chest in a bit, but... Yeah. Um, I think I want... Thank you for the resub! 32 months! Woo! It's really appreciated, thank you. Um, I think I could put an actual outhouse right there, even though it's a really stupid place for it. Um, I'm also going to demolish part of this road. And I'm gonna put this in. Here. I know it's very awkward locationing, locationing, but uh, I need to spend some of the stone and gold, which yeah, I know is really stupid, but so I feel like I'm just wasting it. But I mean, this speeds up their movement. There we go. Another crystal. There we go. Alright. Woo! Um... That one. See, it's like, it's super simple, but it's enjoyable. This little bear. Or stones. There we go. Um, I don't think that one can go anywhere but where it's pointing right now. Um, that one needs to be turned. Yeah, because it's hitting the tree. Oh, it did say 34 months. I read the wrong number. <laughs> Thank you, Warden. <laughs> Uh, you never ruin your streaks. <laughs> I need more coffee. And we'll get more in a sec. Wait. No, I don't, you're just level one bunny. I don't need level one bunny. At this point, I need a, uh, a squirrel. Because I think a squirrel's level three or four. 
This needs to be turned to the right. <gasps> oh, I got it. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, I, I definitely saw the wrong number. Um, when I'm done with this puzzle, we'll move on to Zelda, I think. Where am I going with this? Wait a minute, no, it's supposed to go through... Is that tree actually blocking it? Oh, no. That tree's blocking it. Shit. More water. Had some. I need more coffee. I actually need more wood, so this is not bad. Let me chop down the other one. There we go. Hey, hit it. I don't know why I'm hitting the button over and over. You just have to hold it down. There we go. All of that just for that. But if I remember correctly, it's worth it. Yes. I don't know what those crystals are for. No clue. Um... There. Stone and gold. How many do we have now? We need 20 total. And we have 16. I need four more sprites. Look at all these people just walking around. We need four more sprites, and she needs to go back. Select the location transport over to Dusk and Keep. Yes. How is everyone in the town? Are they bitching? Uh, don't see any available restrooms. Where the hell are you? Do I need actual restrooms near them? Or do I just need restrooms in the town? What? What? Oh, well, were you planning on ordering or no? No, I just want the dumplings. Just dumplings. Any other? One more appetizer on top of that. Um. Two spring rolls or something? I, I don't really want a whole lot because I don't want to feel like gross. <sighs> and then I figured I already made a small shopping list for today and we'll just grab some like sandwich fixings. At the store tonight. I didn't think of it at all yesterday. I said, Shogun. I did hydrate. I hydrated the moment I saw the hydrate. <laughs> Damn it. I'd rather have the steamed ones. I do like fried, but mm, steamed are a lot easier to deal with while I'm streaming. Spring rolls. Yeah, I don't want full-on Chinese or anything. I know is it kind of is up for the Chinese, and honestly, the dumplings are easy to eat. Just get an order of, like, steamed dumplings on the side and just have that. And then just one other thing. All right. This brings culture and economy. 
need more wood and I need more gold. We need to switch off of this in a sec. I have issues. I have issues. I mean, I don't really need to... Oh, I'm out of money. <gasps> oh. Hold on. There is... The cluttered storehouse we need to go to. That storehouse has the ability to permanently upgrade the axe and the pickaxe and I think it costs 500 for permanent upgrades we're just gonna beeline over there um kinda need to I might as well just do it like I, I I need to spend the money. There is another thing I can end up spending the money on. I think there's a gate that we can't open up until we spend like 300 to open it. <clears throat> there's the storehouse. Oh, there's another sprite over there too. I mean, we're making so much, I don't think I have to worry too much about like not having money. Upgrades. What is this? Permanent. Increase the durability of the tools. Sharpening lasts longer. Sharpen. Permanent sharpen. Diamond edge wood axe. Increases the durability of the tool. Sharpening. Oh. Yeah, let's just do a permanent upgrade here. 500. Okay, wood axe is permanently upgraded. You're a squirrel. Come here. Level 4 squirrel paying attention. Here's Scritches. Love me. Love me. Love me. God damn it. Brown squirrel got startled by something. Love me. Love me. I need trust to go up. Like, really go up. I, I can't feed him because I don't ha I never bought anything like nuts. God damn it. I'm gonna hug the squirrel. The random wild squirrel in the forest. Pick it up and hug it. <laughs> then it gets startled. Probably by the fact that you picked it up. <laughs> Stop it. Come on. No, don't do that. Here we go, come on. No, stop it. We're gonna bring up its interest. Whistle at it, there we go. Here scritches. Don't, nope. God damn it. It's such a pain in the ass when they're so high level. Or higher than you. Even one level above you, it could be a pain. I think I can get this if I'm careful. Pet the squirrel. Love me. Come live with me. I'll feed you. You'll stop having to struggle. <laughs> Brown squirrel got distracted. Are we surprised? 71% trust. Come on. Stop it. Startled by some random thing. Stop it. Is that a black bear over there? A bear, wow. Ear scratch. Oh my god. Just... Oh 
Oh my god. Interest. Get its interest up. There. Ear scritches. The interest being higher is probably better. Oh, his interest is really high. Fine with that. More ear scritches. I think I can get the squirrel. I don't know how much experience is worth for a level 4 squirrel. Better be worth enough. Yes! Yes! It's a squirrel. We're obviously gonna name it Isaac. What the hell does it want? What is all that? Manage pets. I think we might be getting rid of Zethia. Bye, Zethia. Okay. <laughs> this is born in. No, it's not. It's Isaac. It has to be Isaac. It's a squirrel. What are we talking about? It's a squirrel. It has to be Isaac. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what does this do? Increases the speed of actions. Food storage. Each badge increases food storage by one for a total of 451. 15% to starting interest when taming animals. Excuse me, Zephia the puppy is gone. Just out of here. <laughs> like, yeeted. <laughs> hey, at least you stuck along around longer than, like, Griffalo. Griffalo, we picked up immediately, trained someone, we said, get out of here. <laughs> 16, 17. We need three more of those. What is here? Oh. Hello. Um, you know you're trash. <laughs> Look, I said no one get attached to your characters. They're going. They're gonna go quickly, because we're definitely picking them up mostly to. Uh, are those butterflies you can train? Monarch butterflies, level seven. Oh no, we're leaving. They're, that's way too high. That's a treasure. We just found a new artifact, a hand drum. Professor Mooney will have more information of what this artifact used to be. Artifacts are good because when you discover all the artifacts in a collection, you can learn to build new things. Ah, oh, the brilliant artisan Woodsy. As a wood elf, I'm uh, grateful for your aid. We talk artifacts. Oh, of course, I love talking about artifacts. What was that part of? Right here, it's the Troubadour collection. We need a bell and I don't know what. Something. Didn't we say we were gonna build another merchant thing or something at some point, another puppet stand? There's like nothing else over here. It's frickin', why do they have a wall here? It's a really weird location for anything. We literally have a husky and a squirrel. The hell? Camera. Really? Can they be killer butterflies? I didn't even know you could get butterflies. I've never been here. Like, the butterflies are brand new to me. I'm actually, I'm starting to hit in territory of what, um, even though I played this before when it was in early access, I'm starting to hit on territory of things that I've never, ever, ever touched on before. Um, how many sprites do I have? 18. Two more sprites and we can actually expand the town, which means the town gets bigger. That will be really nice. Why cut down trees when you can just, you know, collect more wood? <laughs> Let me see what time it is. I'm what? People just walking around town? 
The random people, the 32 people just walking around, here they are. They do anything? Yeah, they're going to work. They do. They do whatever they want to do. Like, there's a farmer. Or they work at the workshop. Or they farm. No one's allowed to work at the pet store or the pet place because Pet Trainer Alice does. Most of them farm, some of them work at the workshop, some of them become merchants. Really? You can't force them to do anything, they just do whatever. This game we got a long time ago. Okay, I don't even remember when we got it or why we necessarily got it. But we did get it and I've enjoyed it. It's like a great little game. Yeah, it's got a lot to really like about it. But yeah. Like, I can definitely build another house. Somewhere. <laughs> Probably over here. I, I feel like building a house here is like weird now like no one should be allowed to live here I don't know um like this entire environment has been like here demolish Get rid of that one, that one, that one, that one, and we'll put in some stone roads. I will definitely say that this part probably feels better with mouse and keyboard, but I've been so used to using the controller that uh, it's all I've really known for playing the game. Here, let me do this. Don't have enough resources. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get there. It's fine. It's fine. Need more stone and gold. His movement actions are supposed to be better with the squirrels, so... He mines and cuts down wood faster. Plus, with his uh, axe being permanently upgraded, uh, he'll chop down trees faster anyways. And I think you can, it looks like you could sharpen it again. Like, I didn't necessarily like the sharpening just because it was a, it's not super expensive, but it's, uh, it's a temporary upgrade. I can have four more villagers in my town now. There's some stone. There's some wood right there. I might have four villagers of that one thing of tents right there. Not entirely certain. Tax time, 76 crowns. Yeah, you get a decent amount per citizen. So every single tax time we're getting, we're getting almost 100. I'm not worried about opening that up that other gate. Do people finally have sufficient toilets or are they still required to hold it? Uh, they're doing better. We had one person that for that left the town, Delvin. They were all like, we can't stand it here, but we have no idea why they left or what was their issue. They just up and left. Hi, would you like to join? Join. Give us your tax money. <laughs> Give us your tax money. Get out of here, bunny rabbits. No one wants your kind. <laughs> like... Oh, we think we know. <laughs> Go into the woods. There's trees out there. Literally, when I hovered over one of the characters in the in the menu, it sat there and said, you know, when I lived in the forest, I didn't have to worry about restrooms. And I'm like, oh. Oh. We know why. <laughs> <They're> just... <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh, there's that one. I need two more sprites. Shit. 
I might need the halfling. No, I don't. I think all of them are as agile as each other. That should be 19. One more. One more and we cannot permanently upgrade our town. Nice. I don't know where there's another one, so I'm trying to keep an eye out for it. No, stop it. We've already permanently upgraded our Hypajali. We've already permanently upgraded our Axe. I'm going a little longer than I intended to go. I know. This is what happens with this game. I'm keeping a... I'm... I'm, I'm doing my best to keep on task with this, alright? But Duero's just kind of sucks me in into the lull of just enjoyment. Was that a tiny little black bear? I'm not... I'm not... I'm not doing that. Not anymore. This one. Him. How much is it to get through here? Can't let you pass. 300 count crowns. Okay. We had that. Oh! There it is! <gasps> yes! Come here! Come here! 20! Woo! <laughs> Alright. We're at 20. Um... Uh, select a location to transport to. Surveyor's hut. Yes. Da da da. Where's the surveyor's hut? There it is. Hello. I have 20 sprites for you. you found 20 sprites? This is wonderful. I'll make sure to bring them to Novo Village the next chance I get. Ah, yes, and as promised, I will officially sanction the expansion of Dilzikia. A new land treaty with Nebo has been negotiated. Dilzikia has increased in size and has more territory for building. Yes! If you want more space, come talk to me when you found 60 more sprites. Excuse you? <laughs> Excuse you? 60? Uh, select a location. Here. Yes. So let's try and build and see how big... Oh, look at how much resources we can hold. 2.5 thousand of each we can really upgrade now all right look at this how wait where did it expand oh holy crap oh holy crap oh my Look at how big this is now. Fucking hell. Also, what is with this weird ass, like, wannabe road? I'm so upset by that road. <laughs> like, what, what the fuck is this shit? What is this shit? Like, we need some interest by making it be all wonky and weird. No, fuck you. Like, what was that bullshit? <laughs> a lot of squares. That much space you might have room for a toilet if you install the important stuff. <laughs> we have so much toiletries. Look, look, we have we have a squirrel Isaac and we have Luna Arcana the Husky. <laughs> like we're able to build the big houses now. We need to upgrade. No more freaking log cabins. We need a full-on city going. Where's your spa? You have a spa? We don't have the ability to have a spa yet, and I'm expecting the ability spa. to have a spa. Levio Spa. Levio Spa? Oh my god. Spa. You can't name the places. No. You're a husky? Yeah, yeah, Luna's a husky. You're a husky, Luna. You're right there. Luna Arcana the husky. <laughs> what? I've been naming after anyone who's. What is with the ground here? What is this horrible texture? I only need one more person. Where's Tiger and Bodhi? Like, now I'm just gonna be like collecting materials. I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Waiting for things. We just need to collect materials. 
I've decided I need, like, a town square that has, like, stores and stuff now. This is my lot in life. There's a jackrabbit, I think. <gasps> You're jackrabbit. You're level four. Come here. You're going to replace that other rabbit. Come here. I'm training to level three. God damn it. Trust me more. You stupid little piece of shit. I'm going to tussle your head. There you go. You said her name three times and summoned Luna. Hey, if it worked. <laughs> oh no. Don't be distracted. I heard Luna just bark just now. That was not Bodhi meowing. Come on, bunny rabbit. Ugh. I will get this rabbit. We're getting level 4 rabbits now. And it's probably going to replace the other level 1 rabbit, which is probably crap now. Yes! Oh, holy crap. Ups the speed by 4. Manage pets. Pastel Goblin. You were nice for like 5 seconds. Get out of here. <laughs> this... Bunny rabbit. This jack rabbit. It's Dr. Delvin. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Watch we get a new we get a new bunny rabbit. It's even better. We get rid of Delvin. <laughs> That's kind of been the rate that we've been going. We can only have four pets at the moment. Can we can I make another pets place? Let me see. No, I don't. See you later. See ya. I don't know why the mouse keeps showing up whenever you do that. It gets really annoying. I wish the mouse pointer would just go away. Um, can I make another pet thing? I'm just throwing everything in there to see if anything pops up with the pet. <laughs> the road. Bathhouse. You know what I want to see? The bathhouse. Can the bath, the, the bath be turned into anything? I think I tried before. How about the bath and the bathroom? No. Are you fucking kidding me? I like how I have the ability for military and education. I can't do anything. Bath doesn't want to be with anything. So upset right now. trying to figure out what goes with what. Can the bathroom go with a house? Wait, hold on. Bathroom. No. It's not allowed to go with a house or a tent. What about any of these? Not allowed. Damn it all. Anyways. People are having a hard time finding restrooms in town. really want like a town square why is it all red here I can't build there 
Oh. We're gonna have an entire town square on the way to this castle area. Can I build over here? No. Can't build there. I'm gonna redesign this entire town, but I need like lots and lots of stuff. Okay. We are pretty good with this right now. New save. 